All right, YouTube, it is time for a bench press tutorial. I'm gonna use this barbell right here, all right? So on this barbell, you normally will see two lines, right? On this bar, it's only one line. Long as your arms are more than shoulder width apart, a little bit outside of shoulder width apart, because the closer they are, the more you'll put emphasis on the tricep, and we don't want that. When we have the bar in our hand, after we get situated on the bench, we want to make sure our feet are planted on the ground at a comfortable position. When you lower the bar, you have to angle your arms in. So angle your elbows in. Not flare them out like this, but you want to angle them in to take that stress off of the shoulder. Try to keep the same bar path on the way down. You want to be touching either your lower chest or your mid chest but you definitely don't want to go any higher. Like, no, you don't want to come at the neck and you definitely don't want to come down to your abdomen. You want to make sure, make sure you're bringing that bar down to your chest. Nice and slow, rest for one to two seconds and press up. This is an exercise a lot of us get hurt on simply because we aren't using the proper technique. Try to incorporate these cues that I'm giving you to lessen that risk of injury of stress on the shoulder when we don't need it, all right? So again, make sure your feet are planted on the ground. You gotta find that position on the bench that's comfortable. Making sure your shoulder blades are kinda on both, both ends of the bench at the same position, all right? With your forehead at the bar, that should be a good position, for allowing you to press up. If you need a spotter, grab one. Leave your ego at the door, all right? So again, I put my middle fingers on these lines. Same position, a little bit outside of shoulder width. And I press up. Bringing the bar above my chest, making sure that I'm going to keep my elbows tucked. Bring the bar down. Press up. Sometimes I use wrist wraps to keep my wrist fixed at this position. You don't want to be bringing your wrist back like this. You want to keep your wrist fixed in this upright position. Keep your hands in this upright position. So not like this. You don't want to be holding the bar in your palm. You want to keep it up like this. So sometimes I use my wrist wraps to strap it up. All right guys, that is the barbell bench press in total, all right? You just gotta remove those cues, man. You gotta make sure your feet are planted on the ground. This is not a powerlifting style, all right? My back is always on the bench, flat as can be. When the weight is too heavy, you'll know like a butt jump. And you're, you'll jump your butt off the seat and lift your back up, trying to push the weight up. The weight is too heavy, guys. You have to drop that weight, all right? We wanna get proper form. We really wanna get down this technique in order to make these gains, all right, in the chest. This exercise is for mass and the chest, all right? So the stronger you get on your bench press, the more mass that you will build chest, your chest, all right? Just remember the cues, feet planted on the ground, elbows tucked in just a bit, not too much, but just a bit, allowing you to remove the stress off of the shoulders, all right? Press up, do not cave your chest in, but just get a nice, get a nice flex, all right? Push as hard as you can, Load the weight up as much as you can, allowing you to not have to lift off the bench and really get after this exercise, all right? Like this video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up. Please, please, please. YouTube has created this algorithm that if you do not like this video, no one will see it, all right? So please like this video, man. Get these views up. We want to build the channel. I also want to keep giving you guys these tutorials, all right? So go ahead and comment below. Let me know if there's any style, any type of exercise that you would like me to go over, and I would do so, all right? Thank you guys for rocking with me. I'll catch you in the next one.